How are you feeling this afternoon? So much better than I was on Monday. I can breathe, I can talk to you, which on Monday we would not have this conversation. Joseph Fair has spent his life chasing deadly viruses, but tonight he's still on oxygen in a New Orleans hospital where he was taken by ambulance on Monday. He believes he caught coronavirus on a flight two weeks ago, even though he was wearing a mask and gloves. My best guess at this point, because I was not wearing any kind of eye protection, was that it came through the eye route. Should we all be wearing some kind of eye protection? In my opinion, yes. You know, people tend to call people like me fear monger and things like that, but the reality is we're just trying to keep you safe. Boys! His dogs are keeping him company. One's camera shy and one loves the camera. His mom checking in. Can you get out of bed right now? Yes, yeah, I can get out of bed. I can take the oxygen off for some time until I start feeling myself getting shorter breath again and then I need to come back in and and put it back on so that I can get some air to my lungs. His fever is gone, but he's weak. He lost 18 pounds. He expects it'll take a month to six weeks to build his lung capacity. Experts say blood clots and the mental health effects of being so sick are also challenges. Oh, Jesus. Dr. Fair didn't have no COVID. Laying up in the bed on oxygen and all this other stuff. He tested negative five times for COVID. Negative five times. He didn't even, he tested negative for the antibodies. That means he didn't have it at the time and he has never had it. Joseph has been tested for coronavirus and each result was negative. I waited about a week to go in so my virus might have cleared my system. And then secondly, you know, it, these tests aren't perfect. In three weeks time, what is the criteria for lifting the lockdown and reducing our alert level? Well, I think ultimately it will it's in our hands uh, if people do take the actions that they, I mean, I've seen people who or heard reports of people playing touch rugby or going into businesses uh, that are non-essential. That cannot continue. We have zero tolerance for that kind of thing going on. If people do those kinds of things, we will need to stay in lockdown longer because uh, that behaviour affects all of us. So we're asking every New Zealander to play their part, to do all of the things that are required, the public distancing, uh, going to the supermarket, sending only one person to do that, uh, washing your hands frequently, but just staying home. If you're unwell, staying home completely, getting someone else to bring you your shopping or um, sending someone else in the household to get some shopping. If in doubt, don't go out. New Zealand's health minister has been demoted after admitting he breached a nationwide lockdown by driving 20 kilometres to the beach. What's deemed a trip too far for the rest of the population was apparently OK for him until he got caught. I um, have got this completely wrong. Um, I've made a mistake and there's no um, building the lily on that. Um, I've let New Zealanders down. I, said, I know that people are in, uh, making some big sacrifices um, out there. People are losing their jobs um, and um, I've just got this wrong. There's no two ways about it. That's why I've offered my resignation. Now Rudy spoke about the virus on Monday in a press conference and as a joke, he made sure, here he goes, made sure to touch every media microphone as he left. Two days later, he tested positive. His positive test prior to last night's game against Oklahoma City prompted not only the postponement of Utah's game against the Thunder, but also the suspension of all NBA games until further notice. I've gone through so many emotions since learning from my diagnosis, mostly fear, anxiety, and embarrassment. The 49-year-old CNN anchor announced Tuesday that he tested positive for COVID-19. But he's still working while he's under quarantine from his wife and three kids, streaming his show from his basement. But then we watched him seize every chance to remind everyone watching that he was very sick and in very strict containment. I'm doing the show, as you know, in my basement, in COVID containment. I'm down in the basement. We're doing it super strict. I uh, hear it's not easy. It is necessary. I know it's what a lot of us want to hear. Hell, I want to hear it, Governor. I'm sick of being in my basement. I want to get out. Most Americans are staying inside or should be, right, if they're not out protesting like fools. They're not happy about being told to stay home. Staying home saves lives. And the rest of us should be staying at home for our mothers and the people that we love. And to keep us farther apart, will ultimately bring us closer together in this cause. No matter where the virus goes, the way to stop it 
will always be the same. Our collective conscientious actions, staying home. But CNN, shameless cheese balls that they are, celebrated by filming Cuomo rising like a buff cable news Lazarus from the grave and back into ordinary life. All right, here is the official re-entry from the basement, cleared by CDC, a little sweaty, just worked out, it happens. This is what I've been dreaming of, literally for weeks. My wife, yeah, right. <laughs> she was cleared by the CDC. She doesn't have fever, she doesn't have the symptoms anymore, more than seven days from her quarantine. We're still a little scared, so I'll just give you one of these. 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 Bella has, of course, taken the video. This is the dream, just to be back up here doing normal things. That was fake. Just last week, Cuomo admitted getting into a fight with a bicyclist who harassed him for going outside and congregating with other people, something CNN has been vilifying ordinary people for wanting to do. The cyclist is 65-year-old David Whelan. So you're supposed to be quarantined. What are you doing out? What are you doing with all these people? So you're not even practicing social distancing. Don't you have the coronavirus? Shouldn't you be quarantined? Nobody had gloves on, nobody had masks on. It's not the weird part. The weird part is that's not the first time he's gone out of the basement. So here's the thing. He already has publicly said that he broke quarantine on Easter Sunday to take his wife and children to look at an undeveloped property in East Hampton, New York. Social distancing works. Please pay attention. Stay home, save lives. Here's what's up. If I make this shot, you gotta stay home. What's more important, saving lives or getting a pedicure? It's cold out. Nobody's going to see your toes. Getting your roots done is not essential. We are sending inspectors out. We will demand that you do this. And if you do not, we will shut you down. But a new photo of the mayor after a haircut is threatening to undermine that message. Good afternoon. You know, the last thing that Mayor Lightfoot wanted to talk about today was getting a haircut. She says the person cutting her hair wore gloves and a mask in the photo that was posted was one of the few she has taken with anyone. But a photo that surfaced on social media showing the mayor after getting a trim has some asking, what about me? The mayor was asked at least twice about the haircut this afternoon. I'm out in the public eye and, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a person who I take my personal hygiene very seriously. As I said, I felt like I needed to um, have a haircut. I'm not able to do that myself, and so I got a haircut. One has to adopt the sort of community measures which have been adopted, particularly in places like Wuhan and China, where you try to reduce contacts between people in the community. So the sorts of measures which are important are measures which are called generally kind of social distancing, um, telling people, if at all possible, to avoid contacts in wider society. We will have to maintain some level of social distancing, significant level of social distancing, probably indefinitely until we have a vaccine available. Professor Neil Ferguson quit following reports that a woman said to be his married lover visited his home on at least two occasions. Yep, Professor Ferguson has been busted for breaking social distancing measures, accepting visits to continue his affair with Antonia Starts, a married woman who knew Professor Ferguson had recovered from coronavirus and apparently feared her husband was infected though. Yet they still broke the rules and crossed town and caught up. Professor Ferguson has now resigned from his role advising government. Morning, Louise. I mean, I suppose first and foremost, it's a big embarrassment for the government. You know, to have a man who was at the heart of your decision making, who helped influence that decision to go into lockdown in the first place, flouting the rules is not a good look. Some Tory MPs have said it risks undermining the government's stay-at-home message. Um, Professor Ferguson's argument was he thought he was immune. This is a vital update about coronavirus.
to help save lives, stay at home. Anyone can spread coronavirus. Only go out when absolutely necessary for food, medicine, work or exercise. Always stay two metres apart and do not meet others outside your own household, even friends and family. Stay home, protect Scotland's NHS and save lives. I've already issued a statement this morning apologising unreservedly for travelling away from my home while restrictions were in place. As well as this weekend, it's important to be clear that I also was there the last weekend with my husband. I did not follow the advice I'm giving to others. I'm truly sorry for that. 